Hello YouTube, my name's Jesse. And I'm Tash. And we are Heart and Heart Pine. Pine. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward every time. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. We're uh, checking in again with just a little bit of an update with what's going on with us. Um, we are actually working pretty hard on Heart and Pine 2.0 and getting things revigorated and 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 going and, and everything. So um, as they say, housekeeping, housekeeping, I'm smoking my um, Chris Morgan Blackjack Bulldog, Ben Bulldog. In it, I have some Whip Batch Number Eight. This is from our buddies at Split Beard Pipes, which they are going to start a YouTube channel, maybe <laughs> sometime do soon. It. They said that they're going to do it real quick, so we've started. So now you guys have to start it. Um, this is their Work in Progress Batch Number Eight. It's really good. It's a good English, um, it's got that, I don't know, it's got that um, Virginia nuttiness that I like. I mentioned that mm -hmm. in the last one with the McCrane. I think there the might McCranies. be a little, little Cavendish in there too, maybe. Yeah, all around, I really enjoy it. What about you? I am smoking a, um, this is a goose egg, reverse calabash, made by Mr. Bone. Um, and this is uh, Arbutus wood, or strawberry wood, as they call it in the pipe world, I guess. Uh, we call it Arbutus, Arbutus up here. Some people call it Arbutus, but that sounds like they don't know what they're talking about. And uh, yeah, inside of that, I have some Rat Ray Bag Piper's Dream. Uh, it's really nice. It's got a nice little cognac note to it. Actually, a pretty hefty cognac note. And um, as Jesse takes a sip there, we are having some of my homebrew. Uh, this is a California Common, otherwise known as uh, Steam Ale. Similar, or it's a clone recipe based on uh, Anchor brewing uh, their Steam Ale. Hmm. So yeah, it's a little green. It's um, green meaning it's not a little quite, young. It's not quite yeah. ready yet. But it's, it's uh, yeah, it's basically an ale made with a lager yeast and sort of treated like a bit more like a lager, somewhere hmm. in between. So we want to talk about shave sets today. Um, it's something that we've had on the site for a little while. Um, we've got one new product to kind of introduce, and we've got a really cool custom order that we did. Um, uh, a lot of people in the in the pipe community know Mr. Stephen Norse uh, of Vermont Freehand. We did up a custom order for him. I did the um, shave brush and bowl, and Tash did the razor, which we'll show in a sec. So this is a High Mountain Silver Tip Badger Brush um, Knot. That's okay, I'll get some shots. And of course, all the pipe people know that this is Briar. So, just a really, really cool piece of cross cut um, with good bird's eye on both sides and straight grain going throughout. And this is just super soft. The good thing I like about this, this is a High Mountain Silver Tip. And it's, um, we have other badger brush, but this has like stiffness with softness. I don't know, it really holds its form really, really well. It's just a really, really nice brush. Steve, you're gonna love this. And for the bowl, Steve sent me a big block of, uh, of uh, briar, and it's this guy. So I kept all the plateau on top, and that actually is gonna work, function really well, because when you use, when you, when you foam up the suds, all those, uh, those plateau tops are going to help create more suds. So it looks really cool. And again, it's just like this crazy kind of flame straight grain going all around the side. And I kept the plateau on and it's, and it's good. And I finished it all with a CA finish. So it's all waterproof. So Steve will never have a problem with anything swelling up or leaking or anything like that. And we also included two of our yet to be released shave, um, shave soaps. So these little discs, they'll go inside the bowl, like that. You'll get the tip with hot water, wet, and a little bit of water in there. Um, usually like two or three minutes before you shave, you fill this bowl up with some hot water to get the soap malleable, and then you put a little bit of hot water on the tip of the brush, set it up on your face, ready to shave. It's beautiful. And that stuff is good. We'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll do more details on that when we actually release it. Steve, you get a pre-release. And we've also got um, 
our uh, experiment number one shave oil. <laughs> it's a uh, pre-shave, so you would, uh, as the name suggests, put that on about, uh, I basically will like wash my face with a cloth, super hot water, and then put that stuff on for about 10 minutes before you're gonna shave, and it just kind of softens everything up a little bit. Um, also works good is um, using that basically as a shave oil, so you do your first shave with the grain, and then uh, your second shave, clean off all the soap, cover your whole face in the oil, and second shave, go against the grain, and let you get in mm -hmm. a little bit closer. But I use my, well, we both need to shave, yeah. but <laughs> it's just funny that we're doing that. That's why I, I always, it. like for a straight razor, for like trimming in above my beard, it's absolutely perfect. Because I've tried other razors, and they're all like multiple um, blades on them, and you just, you can't quite get a nice clean edge. With a straight razor, you can just get perfectly, it's like five minutes. It's actually faster for me to shave with a straight razor than it is anything else. All right. Trade Show them the like piece de resistance. Right. So this is a nice little veg tan sheath I made up for the razor, and um, it's a little stiff right now, but that'll loosen up a little over time. And uh, so same sort of deal inside. We did a um, briar scales on a refurbished vintage blade. You can see there, and um, we're actually sourcing these from uh, a couple brothers that have a business in uh, the great state of Illinois, and um, they basically they basically track down, find these old vintage blades, and um, do a bit of a refurb on them. So we get the blades from them, and we do the scales ourselves. So yeah, I've uh, I decided to go up to eighth inch pins. Typical on a on a straight razor would be sixteenth, but I just kind of like that kind of heavier, chunkier look. Mm -hmm. So uh, I went up to eighth inch pins on that. And the uh, the briar on that's amazing. It's got yeah. it's briar again. So he's got a full set with the the brush briar, the bowl briar, and the the handle briar. And, and what's the little oh uh, the other little design element there that little. The little wedge in between the scales is a, a little piece of uh, antler from a an island, Vancouver Island blacktail. Deer. Deer, for those that don't know what, that is. Don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, and um, and then the sheath that he can uh, mm -hmm. will travel well with the razor. Killer set. Super Very jealous. Nice set. Very Super uh, envious. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, but here is our latest and greatest uh, product development to release, which is fitting with what we just showed. This right here is our dock kit. This is um, a very cool fabric. You'll notice that there's like seam lines in here. And these are actually, this fabric is repurposed or refurbished from uh, the French military. These were actually these were actually tents that the French military used in service. Um, and we've got our logo on the end. It's got a nice big beefy YKK zipper, and on the inside it's got this really cool like blue denim ticking. Denim ticking is that ticking. What you say? It's called yeah. Um, we've collaborated with this with a really good maker out of Texas, W Durable Goods. They're like, awesome. He it's yeah I'm so glad that we get these made by him yeah because just like this is the inseam stitching and everything is just attention to details yeah rock solid I've had one of these for close to a year now and it's just perfect it's rock solid one of the cool features that we did um, is that we have the handle on the end so if you're traveling or if you're camping and you're um, there's a branch or something that you need to hang this on because you hang your mirror on the tree um, we incorporated a, a, um, a snap so that you can open up the handle, whether it's the towel rack or whatever, you put it through and just snap it shut and then you're good to go. Yeah, so these will be up on the site in, uh, well actually by the time this video airs, they'll probably be up on the site. They'll be up on the site now. And um, they will be retailing for $70 Canadian, which is like $14 US or something, <laughs> I don't know. You save um, money if you're yeah, if you save a bit of money. US. And uh, shipping um, is $12 in Canada and $20 in the U.S. That's right. 
Yeah, so, um, and watch for more of these these blades. We're not necessarily going to be doing more of the briar. Maybe, maybe not. But we will be posting some more of these refurbed uh, vintage straights up for sale as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this one. That's about all we wanted to show you today. So, other than that, what's our sign-off sign? We don't have one. Like, sign-off No, off last time sucker? we did an awkward uh, multi-languaged. I did Italian, you did Spanish. Oh, I thought we both did Spanish. Oh, ciao. No, Italian. Ciao is Italian, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get better at this. Bye, YouTube. We'll talk to you soon. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>